Hey guys, Grumpy Tanker here, bringing you a after action review of our fight Forge vs. PBCAC on November 5th, 2013. This is during the first stage of the second campaign. So the tier limit was set to tier 6. And this was one of the first fights we had uh, on Delaware Landing Zone versus PBCAC. So without further ado, let's just get into the map tactic here. Uh, my plan, uh, the tank lineup, involved six KV-1Ss as the main striking force, three M18 Hellcats as a flanking, medium, you know, just kind of mobile force, and three KV-2s and two SU-100Ys as the anvil or defense force uh, to protect the base, as well as one scout for the field to see what's going on out there. Now, as you can see from the map tactic, the plan was in preparation for a hard city push. We anticipated that the enemy would send a large force of KV-1Ss straight through the city along the three line most likely into our base. And the plan was to first ball them up with the KV-2s and SU-100Ys and then flank them with the 1Ss and the M18 Hellcats to create a kill zone in the red blob area. As you can see, this is a classic hammer and anvil uh, type strategy. And the nice thing about city maps like this is that it allows you to separate the enemy forces and, and force them to not be able to support each other because there is terrain and hard cover in the way. It's very hard for enemy forces in the field to come back and support enemy forces in the town. So unless the enemy or you are committing all their forces to either one of these areas, then the other set of forces is basically useless in the battle. So the idea is to let their main force come into our kill zone, we smash them with an enveloping attack, and then we can turn around and deal with whatever's left. So there are two important considerations about the whole field side of the map, everything east of the sixth line which allow me to actually execute this strategy properly. One is that we're putting a scout out there. So we're going to know what's going on in the field well before it gets to the point where we aren't able to react to it. And second is that the A side spawn and cap are really difficult to approach from the east and south southeast side of the map without going through the open and getting shot. And furthermore, to get on the cap, um, you have to come around the corner and probably get shot in the side from the defense forces who are going to be lined up along that uh, Charlie Fort Road. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the battle replay. The 1S is here going to deploy to their holding position in Bravo 2. The Hellcats are going to deploy to protect base a little bit at the beginning. And the KV-2s are going to deploy into this alley here coming up on the left. And the SU-100Ys are going to deploy, hugging the wall along the Charlie Ford Road. Now the scout, as you can see, has just reached his initial position here along the Echo Line. He's going to be popping over this ridge and seeing all the enemy tanks that might be coming into the field. <laughs> so initially he does spot a KV-1S back here, which is slightly worrying because it's odd to send a 1S out in this direction unless you're making a fairly large push. But one tank is not an army, so let's see what else gets lit up by our scout who's doing a heck of a job there. He does run into an enemy chaffy, but manages to avoid him and get spots on a whole boatload of other guys. And there's a couple more guys that are about to get spotted, but at this point we see 8 out of their 15 tanks. <laughs> and I feel strongly enough that this is most of their forces. This is this is a good chunk of their forces, over half. And that means that there are fewer tanks, six or seven, in the city that we have a chance to defeat in detail before these guys are able to get back and help them. So I have made the snap decision, which you have to do in the battle, and told my 1Ss, go, push hard, get down that one line, get down to the church. So they're moving. Um, I'm going to be pulling the Hellcats back shortly to flank around with them. And the KV-2s and SU-100s are reorienting to defend the base. Um, a couple KV-2s are going to be looking towards the north here, 
to prevent them from charging into our base and the SU-100Ys and one of the KV-2s are going to come down here and prevent their forces from coming back into the city. Now we spot uh, one of their forces down here in the city and I can immediately tell this guy and what turns out to be a group of guys is totally isolated from the rest of their team. So we're going to be able to get in there and defeat these guys in detail because we're going to have local superiority. Look at, we've got six 1Ss and three Hellcats streaming in here. They're going to be able to get in here and, and take these three guys out fairly quick. Now as you can see, the PB Cat guys responded really well and really quickly. They started coming back down this E-Line road. But they're now caught in the crossfire because we've got tanks here watching this side and we've got tanks in front of them. So they're not going to be able to come around the corner to really help their guys. They're going to be trapped. As we can see our 1S's and Hellcats kind of streaming over to start taking these three guys out because they are cut off from the enemy and we can defeat them in detail. And this is where we can start unraveling PPCAC strat and start rolling them up from one side. So we've got a basically four or five on two situation here. So we're able to kind of leverage that advantage and just really burn these guys down quickly. Furthermore, you can see the guys from our three line are coming in and not only are they preventing the guys on the E-line road from being able to come back in and help their buddies, but they're also going to get ass shots to hide these guys uh, hiding along the three line. So at this point we've got them pinned down really, really well. They do have some light forces out in the field, a couple Cromwells, Hellcat, and their Chaffee, and they're going to be trying to cap us out. But the two KV-2s are in a really great position to cover the base and, and really deny them that. Um, they've got a good enough hit point pool, they can survive some hits, and their guns are good enough to one hit any of these light tanks coming around. So now we've totally got them boxed in. We've defeated this force in G3, and now we can kind of start rolling up from the flank. We've got another group, you know, here trapped here that's going to get caught in a crossfire. Um, I'm sending the Hellcats into their cap just to put some pressure on them, make them react to our movements. <laughs> but we've got them, you know, this is fish in a barrel now. We're able to really, you know, get them from multiple angles force them to show side to somebody and get shot. Um, you can see that they're trying to push our cap pretty hard, but Cromwells aren't making much of a dent on these KV-2's health pools, and the KV-2's are able to one-shot them. So we're just blown away their, their light forces. Now we've got a couple guys on cap causing some cap pressure. So the few tanks they've got remaining, you know, are trying to frantically get back here and and save their cap. But it's a little too little, a little too late. We were really able to split up their forces, force them to be isolated from each other, and then we were able to create local superiority conditions to really take them out. So you can see from post game stats here that we were really able to leverage that um, local superiority. You know, each of their each of the PBCAC groups was blown away without being able to do a whole lot of damage. And our guys did a really good job, you know, uh, folks firing and spreading out the damage amongst each other. So it's really important to remember and, and recognize the conditions for which you can force an engagement like that and be able to defeat the enemy in detail. You know, once you see the enemy is split up by you know, they had three or four map grid squares between them. You're able to cut off their reinforcements and then, you know, kill the isolated group. So, um, it was a really good fight. Uh, I think everybody did a great job on it. And, um, you know, hopefully this video helps uh, everybody, you know, recognize these conditions in the future and be able to exploit that. All right, thanks for watching.